All right. Hi and welcome. Thanks so much everyone for being here today and welcome back to another class in the Frequency Shifters community. Uh, today we're focusing on how to increase our passion and find greater purpose and intention in our lives. So I have um, a meditation that we're going to move through and then we'll spend just a little bit of time talking about it at the end of class. Um, but generally the, the purpose of this meditation is to help kind of open your heart, open your mind to um, creating greater intention in your life and creating more space for the things you care about and are passionate about. Um, so much of going after uh, what we want and creating change or transformation in different key areas um, goes back to what we're thinking about. What we're thinking about and what our minds are focused on trickles down to our emotions and how we feel every day. And it also then trickles down into the kind of actions that we take in our lives and the way we show up for ourselves and for those around us. So when we stop to take some time to really reflect on what, what matters, what brings us joy, you know, everything from the little things to the big things, um, we can create more of it in our lives just by paying attention to it. It's the thing about awareness and intention. You know, they, they work together in some pretty magical ways. It seems like, you know, sim they're simple, simple tips, simple practices um, that can go a really long way. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the meditation. Take a moment here to really just welcome yourself into your physical space. So whether you're sitting on the floor or on a chair or anywhere else in your home, start to relax your lower body, feeling either your feet or your legs resting or both. Taking a big breath in through the nose, let the lungs and belly expand widely. Exhaling out the mouth like a big sigh. Let your body start to relax. So resting your weight into your sit bones. Feeling yourself sinking deeper with each exhale. So continuing that same cadence of the breath. Inhale, lungs and belly expand, pause. Exhale out the mouth like a big sigh. Take a few more of those on your own. Feeling the shoulders relax, your upper arms and elbows soften at your sides. And letting your hands rest comfortably in your lap, either palms up or palms down. Close your eyes if they're not closed already. Continuing to deepen your awareness Moving your intention inward to the breath. Breathing slowly and deeply. Feel all the muscles in your neck and face relax. Feel even the crown of your head, the hair on your head relax. Starting to breathe, if you haven't already, now in the nose and out the nose. So instead of out the mouth, the breath will start to naturally slow down a little bit more. Shifting to breathing in the nose and out the nose. Feeling the lungs and belly expand and relax with the breath. Expand and relax. Feel how with each exhale, you can let something go. Releasing a thought or a worry that comes to mind. Releasing tension that might arise in the body. Discomfort of any kind. As we move through the rest of this meditation, continue to use each exhale or each breath out as a chance to let go of whatever arises and come back to whichever part of the practice I'm moving us through at the time. So keeping the eyes closed, 
I want you to think, consider, or imagine in your mind some of your favorite things to do in your life today. Consider when in your life you feel the happiest, the most passionate and joyful, the most connected to others, free and light in your mind and body. So this could be anything at all. It might be getting to travel somewhere or something special like that, but it might be something as simple as enjoying a fresh breath of air, sitting to enjoy a cup of tea or reading a good book, going on a walk or doing some kind of adventure or activity outdoors, spending time with people that you really care about, anything at all. Just let your mind start to cross over, considering where and when do I feel the most po those most positive emotions, free and light, joyful, passionate and happy in the most natural sense. It may be common for some negative emotions to rise as you would consider things or old memories. Try your best to breathe those out and let them go with each exhale coming back to the joy you feel in these other moments that you're able to access now. Take a few moments here on your own to continue that reflection. Now take a moment to notice if your mind has wandered at all or gone too far to any outside distractions or other trains of thought and come back for a few moments to that visualization of the things that make you happy, feel joyful, taking just another moment to consider what else there might be in your life Nothing too small, nothing too big. Now take a really deep breath in through the nose. Let the lungs and belly expand. And another exhale out the mouth, letting go. Taking a moment to release whatever came up for you. Knowing that you planted that seed for your own transformation and to call more of these things into your life just by taking this time to reflect on it, by letting your mind focus on it, by bringing those happy, positive thoughts to your mind and to set an intention so now truly committing to yourself, setting an intention to do your best to think about those things every day and how you could invite more of them into your life or create a routine that allowed you to experience more of that passion and joy more often. Take just a moment to do that with yourself. Now take a moment again to notice, did your mind wander at all? Remember that is totally normal and totally natural. Just notice or observe where it wandered, gently guiding it back to the breath, 
to the present moment. And now repeating to yourself. So we're gonna move through some affirmations, which are again, using intention, intentional statements to um, claim or affirm some positive message we wanna to send to our subconscious and to all the layers of our mind and body. Remember what we're thinking about trickles down to the emotions we feel and everything else in our lives. So while we can't always control the fact that we're thinking, we have a lot of thoughts, we can control what we're thinking about and where we focus our thoughts. So repeating now, I release all doubts about my abilities. So just repeating after me in your mind, or if you have privacy and you wanna speak them out loud, the vibration of your own voice can be an added way to experience the affirmation. So the goal is to feel the emotion, to feel yourself either letting go or claiming the thing, if it's a positive thing, uh, to feel the emotion as you speak it. I release all doubts about my abilities. I release comparison of myself to others. I release false beliefs that I have no purpose. I release all uncertainty about the future. I choose to release my mental blocks to create greater clarity. And I release all fear and worry. I know I'm on the right path for me. So we'll say that one again. I release all worry, fear and worry I know I'm on the right path for me. Now moving into from letting go and what we wanna release, moving into what we want to affirm and draw in. So again, now try to say these words with as much power and intention as you can. Even if you have doubts, even if there's some resistance to the words, because you may not believe it right now, that's okay. That's a normal part of practicing affirmations. Still try to say it with as much power and intention as you can right now. Saying, I am open to discovering my greatest purpose. I trust that I will be taken care of. I am honoring my unique abilities. And I am welcoming new inspiration into my life. I am following my heart. I am enjoying my journey. I'm open to new ideas. This one's important. Sometimes we can get stuck. We think we've explored it all or we're limited in some capacity. Allowing ourselves to be open to something new it may feel uncomfortable, but challenge and discomfort is where we grow. So 
allowing yourself to be open to drawing something new into your life. I live with intention. And I am true to my own path. I choose to do things that bring me joy, which connects me to my purpose. I choose my passions, which guide me to my purpose. When I let go and trust, everything else works out. I honor my purpose through reaching for new goals. I choose power and intention. I choose daily action, no matter how small. I choose to trust my decisions. and to believe in myself. I choose to imagine a joyful future. And our last affirmation, I choose to be grateful for my own unique journey. Actually, we're gonna do one more. Today, I choose me. Today, I choose me. It's not selfish to choose ourselves or to choose things that bring us joy, passion, that lift us up. I truly believe we are designed and meant to be joy-creating machines to overcome our challenges to build resilience and return to focusing on the joy we can find in our daily lives. It's not an easy thing to do, but with intention and continuing to believe in yourself, we can all get there. So affirmations have helped me so, 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 so much. I hope you enjoyed um, moving through that practice and can take this last moment with your eyes closed to reflect on the power of those words you just spoke to yourself, putting them on like an inner armor. So you can carry them out of our meditation back into the rest of your day and week. So starting to now bring your awareness back to your body. I'm gonna ask you to keep your eyes closed for another moment. I'm just gonna do some gentle stretches um, to, to move our way out of the practice. So first dropping your chin down to your chest, relax the back of your neck. Gently moving your chin to the left and to the right, really releasing the back of your neck. I call it tech neck. You know, we're sitting hunched over computers and our phones so much these days. Try to feel all that tension start to release as you drop your chin deeper and deeper. And then lifting your chin, lifting your gaze, let your head float left to right, relaxing the back of your neck completely as you lift your gaze and chin to the sky. 
keeping the eyes closed, staying mindful of your movement and conscious of relaxing any tension in the places you feel it the most. And now making complete circles all the way around. We'll go both directions. Here you can open or close your eyes. I know some people get a little dizzy if their eyes are closed on this one. So do what feels best for you. And then switching directions. All right, now coming back to neutral, we're gonna roll the shoulders up and back a few times. And here you can go ahead and open your eyes if you haven't opened them yet. Wonderful. And then taking a moment to um, lift your arms all the way up above your head. So really reaching your arms towards the sky lifting from the shoulders, squeezing your inner arms towards your ears, lengthening through the elbows, forearms, wrists, hands, all the way up through the fingertips. Breathing deeply in and out. Feel the belly expand and relax with your breath. Now bring the arms all the way down and one last little stretch here, we're gonna do some twists. So twisting to the left and to the right in your seat. Try to use your hands as a little bit of leverage, grabbing on to your lap or to the side of your chair or wherever you're sitting and turning your gaze over the back shoulder. So this is a great release for the low spine, also great detox, stress relief move. I know I talk about that a lot, but <laughs> just a reminder, what it's useful for, twisting through the low belly, then the middle belly, the shoulders, we don't put much attention on that. The attention should really be on the area around the gut. Twisting, a few more. Wonderful. All right, back to neutral. <clears throat> and from here, we will um, start to move out of our, our session. If anybody has any questions or wants to share anything, anything that came up as a challenge for you during that, or any of the affirmations that really resonated that you really liked or really struck you, um, I always like to hear. I know often. You guys have to go, but uh, if you want to share anything, no, I would love love to hear hear from you. Um, and just remember that you know these things kind of start small. Um, finding our joy, especially after we've been through a challenging time. I know um, I've been there many times myself, and it was the practice of paying attention to. Um, those things that lifted me up and, and trying to slowly invite more of it in and then it built and built and built and built and built. Um, gratitude practices, so having some kind of journaling gratitude practice um, is also really helpful. It's also, you know, positive psychology and, you know, it's been studied in a lot of different um, areas of like mental health and well being and has been linked to higher levels of, you know, the release of our positive feel good hormones like dopamine and serotonin um, and overall lifting your mood and improving, um, you know, satisfaction and fulfillment in life, even just like I said, focusing on the simple things that we're grateful for. Um, and I know, I don't know about you, but during this whole last year with COVID, some days it was those things like, I'm grateful I have food on my table, that I have money still coming in, that there's a roof over my head. Um, you know, there's nothing too simple to choose to practice gratitude for. And the more we focus on it, the more we pay attention to it, the more we reap those benefits and rewards. And then when we notice what we're grateful for, we also can, again, call more of that in. Who are the people in your life that you like to spend the most time with that make you feel the best? 
how can you invite more of that time into your life, whether it's a virtual coffee date or just a phone call or sending a thing, a, you know, a thinking of you card or little things like that. Um, they go a long way to boosting the self and boosting others. Um, you know, things like even mentorship or helping others, doing something to give back in some way to your community. These are also things that make us feel good and connect us to um, the things that bring us connection, greater intention, um, and greater, greater joy in life that give us that kind of fulfillment of uh, playing our part and doing our role to, um, you know, contribute to the world around us. So, I just, again, I would encourage you to think about it, start maybe a daily journaling practice or a few times a week, at least once a week, sitting down and taking some time to either just mentally reflect as we sort of did in the beginning of this meditation practice, or to commit to writing it down in a journal, you know, writing three things down a day, three celebrations, three things you're grateful for, three things you love um, or wanna do more of in your life. Uh, and just, again, creating the awareness and the practice of bringing it to, to heart, to mind, um, will automatically start making things happen. So, all right, well, I don't see any questions or any hands up or things like that. So we'll go ahead and wrap up for today. Uh, take this last moment to bring your hands to your heart, closing your eyes and telling yourself, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you are, for all that you do. And for taking this time for yourself today to do something good for your mind and for your body. And a big thank you, a big hug, lots of love from me as always. Um, thank you so much for being here. And remember, you can always check out the recording in the Frequency Shifters community uh, in the resource portal. So it should be up within a couple of days and just keep an eye out for that email. So thanks again for being here guys and I'll see you back in class very soon. Have a great rest of your day.